so this is the entrance to my baby girl's nursery. As you can tell, Mama's things are all in front here, and it's a half wall um, loft style, so it's unfinished right now. It's kind of why I didn't want to do a tour, but for now it's unfinished, and I'm just going to show you what it is is for now. So as you enter the room here, you can see um, the overview. It's really, really bright with those two windows. We do live in a condo. And then with the skylights here. So as you enter, I'm just gonna go over to the changing table. So this is the changing table setup here, and I will list and link everything down below. I got it from Wayfair, and it's awesome because this changing table part here comes off, and then it turns into just a bureau top, and then it has the two cubbies and then two drawers, which I really liked. So in the cubbies, I have these like silvery, sparkly bins that I got from the like dollar section, dollar spot at Target. I think they were three dollars, and then I just have like burp cloths and whatnot behind them. So in the first bin, I just have all of her bibs and socks and slippers. And then in the second bin, I have all of her headbands, hats, and bows. And then in the drawers, I have all of her current clothing that is washed and fits her. And then this gray changing cover here is really soft and fluffy, and I got it from Babies R Us. And then the white thing in the middle is like one of the newborn must-haves I listed. It's a boppy changing pad liner. It's got like a waterproof backing on the, on the back, and... She's always spitting up or like pee or blowouts or whatever. It protects the cover from getting stained. So that's actually really convenient. And then looking up here is the floral S that I made. And I just made it on foam board and glued all, hot glued all kinds of flowers I got from Michael's on here. And I'm obsessed with it. This is on like the featured wall right there. Nothing else. And then I keep all of her. This is unfinished. It's like on a little... TV stand. <laughs> so all of her diapers here in this caddy with her lavender lotion and baby aquaphor. And then I have a um, wipe warmer, but I don't really use it. I do, I did in the winter like a tiny bit with the water wipes because they're so wet and cold. So I don't know, I don't really use it, but I definitely, definitely am in love with this um, diaper caddy here. And then another one of my newborn must-haves, a diaper genie. Everyone says, oh, it doesn't hold that many diapers. Well, it definitely holds enough to get me through a week. And especially when, now that we've introduced solids, her poops do not smell pleasant anymore. So that helps a ton. And then turning over here, um, this S hook my friend made or bought. Um, I'm not, I'm not positive. So I just have an S hook that's like a rose gold kind of pattern and I have some beautiful headbands of hers hanging on the door. And I love, I just love the way that looks. And then this right here is a, like a diaper holder and it came in this bed set. I'll show you in a second. And then I have her hamper. Her hamper I got from Target in the dollar spot as well. I think it was $7. I'm not super in love with it, but she didn't have a hamper for the longest time, so I needed to get her one. So that's just, I don't know, just for now. Like I said, it's not to my standards right now, but I don't know, I'm really particular. <laughs> And then this, I don't have anything in yet, but I'm obsessed with it. And I just showed it on my like Target vlog video. If you guys can see, it's coral. It has uh, the gold butterflies and mint butterflies. I'm obsessed with it. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there right now. Um, but I'm. she has so much stuff. I'm sure I'll put like stuffed animals or something in it. And then she's got her bedding set here. Um... And Hello. it's got like, I just love the gray theme, like the gray and coral theme. So it came with this bed skirt, if you can see, the gray bed skirt, the quilt, and then that diaper holder. And then I think it came with wall decals as well, which I haven't put on yet. Um, and I don't know if I will once we finish the wall. So we will see. And then this crib I got from Wayfair and I'm obsessed with this crib. It is very, very sturdy grand like luxurious kind of looking and big it's not like a cheap flimsy one but yet it wasn't like 500 dollars like all the other 
cribs that I've seen that are of good quality. So I'm really impressed with this crib. I will definitely link that one below. And then I have her elephant mobile here. And then the current crib um, sheet that I have on right now is like a coral orange pattern from Baby's Arrest. And then we have the breathable mesh liner in here as well. People ask me about the wall color in here. It's weird because in different lighting, it looks like a different color, but it's light gray in some lighting. It looks blue, and then in most lighting, it looks like a lavender gray, which I'm obsessed with. It's from Sherwin-Williams, um, and I think it's called grayish. Again, I'll link it if I can find it. And then we have this picture here, which I love. My coworker made this for me, and I just put some of her newborn photos in here, and then like the first moment they put her on me, and I'm obsessed with it. That's her name, Sydney Elizabeth, of course. And as you turn, we have the window, and I do live in condos here, um, so I don't know, I won't shine it, the light out there. I just have sheer, um, sheer white curtains, which I love, and I do need to cut eventually, and you know, I have to baby-proof this room eventually. She's not strictly sleeping in here, so it's no big deal right now. And then as you look in front of the crib, my relative, um, gave me this little like fuzzy fuzzy stuffed elephant and then for my baby shower someone made me this um, you know book crate it says Sydney in gold with a pink backing and I love it for books I absolutely love that that was a DIY someone did for me and then as you turn this is my filming area here so my chair my rocking chair I'm obsessed with I don't know if you guys can see the little like hammered nail detail on on the sides and it's sort of like a microfiber material and it's gray like a steel gray I would say and then I just threw a random pillow I got from home goods there and then this blanket I got from home goods as well this chair I'm obsessed with it does kind of lean back a little bit and it's harder to rock all the way but I just do a slight rock and like a little rock but it's on hardwood so it tends to have a bump for some reason it's weird so I don't know if it would on the carpet but I'm, I'm obsessed with it it's super comfy and then I got this little storage ottoman that opens up and you can store things in it I got that from home goods um, I'll try to link I'll try to find it because I know with home goods you know it's like if you don't buy it then it's you're never gonna see it again <laughs> so I'll try to find something similar up here it's just those are my necklaces I haven't moved them yet um, and then the little blocks that say Sydney my friend made for her for me for my baby shower and then I just have a fluffy elephant and then one of those like I don't know what they're called, the willow, I don't know, the mom and baby ones, my friend got me as well. And then this side I won't, I mean, my God, hot mess, gross. Um, that, that's mama's side, which is eventually going to be out of here, and this wall is going to be closed off. I do have her white noise machine um, right here, and for naps, because the wall isn't built, we just put this on the white noise, and it seems to help her nap really well. And then I'm obsessed with this sign. I'm not, I can't remember, I can't quite remember who got this for me. I know it was a friend for my baby shower and I just love it. Hold me a little longer, rock me a little more. Tell me another story. Tell me just one more. Let me sleep on your shoulder. Cherish my happy smile for I am only a little baby for such a little while. This, this right here helps me get through if she's having a fussy time. I just, it reminds me to like chill out. She's just a little baby for her once, once. <laughs> and it's gonna be okay. And then the chandelier, you guys, is my favorite part of this entire room. I'm obsessed with it. It's this crystal chandelier I got from like Home Depot or something. I'll list and link it. And it's gorgeous in the sun, and it's gorgeous when it's on too, and we just kind of swung it um, and hung it in the center of the room. And that actually, we hung before we knew if it was gonna be, if Sydney was gonna be boy or girl. So yeah, we, well, I don't know, took a chance on that one, but it came out very, very beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, that is the nursery for now before it gets completely finished. And then, like I said, eventually mom's stuff will be out of here because that's just a nuisance and we cannot have the baby in here getting into makeup and hazardous things. So <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to thumbs up. Bye guys. Mwah. This is how we filmed the entire video. <laughs> Poor little girl.